with soldiers of the Tutsi-dominated army setting up roadblocks on the street, sealing the borders and closing airports, it was clear the rumoured coup had become fact. Within hours, Burundi's defence minister appeared on television, announcing the ousting of Hutu president Entebun Tunganya and his replacement by a Tutsi, former president Pierre Buyoya. A career army officer, Buyoya has been president before, grabbing power in 1987. He's been reinstalled, but for the meantime, all political activity has been suspended. The ousted Hutu, Interban Tunganya, was forced to flee the funeral of Tutsi massacre victims two days ago, and the crowd, blaming Hutu rebels, turned on him. Fearing a coup was imminent, he sought refuge at the US Embassy, where he remains. At least eight of his ministers, fearing for their lives, have gone into hiding at the German Embassy. The army claims Interban Tunganya's flight is a de facto resignation. Only a few people remained on the normally busy streets and most shops closed as news of the coup spread. The military has imposed a curfew during the hours of darkness. Burundi has been in a state of near civil war for three years as ethnic hatred brewed between the majority Hutus and Tutsis, who make up 15% of the population. With the army in control and Tutsi dominated, it's feared that hatred could explode into Rwandan dimensions.